Um, <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Chairman. The, uh, the White House Counsel's Office, as we all know, is the part of the White House that uh, is charged with advancing a president's nominees to the federal judiciary. Every president in recent memory has had a White House counsel's office. And all White House counsel offices do their job. They try to, uh, they think they're right, and they try to get what their boss wants. And of course, all senators think they're right, and we try to get what we want. It took, I think this is true of all uh, White House counsel offices. It, it, it took a while um, for President Biden's White House counsel's office and I to get to know each other. Uh, but, but, we, uh, but we have. Now, I'm not suggesting that we are ready to go to summer camp together, and it could all fall apart tomorrow. But uh, we have had a number of vacancies on the federal judiciary in Louisiana. We need to fill them. Working with White House Counsel's Office and my quarterback, Senator Cassidy, we filled two of them. Today, we have two additional splendid nominees to offer up to you. I returned a blue slip on both of them, and unless they really, really, really screw up today, which I do not think they will, I'm going to vote for them. Um, Senator Cassidy covered Jerry's and Brandon's resumes. Look, I'm not going to repeat everything, but, but uh, if you look at these two gentlemen and aren't impressed, um, as Lindsey Graham says, you shouldn't be driving. Uh, Mr. Edwards graduated from Georgia State University, Vermont Law School. He's clerked for two... Um, district court judges in Louisiana, one Republican, one Democrat. He spent 13 years at Blanchard Walker, a hell of a law firm. He was a partner there. He's been the, the chief of the civil division in the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Western District. He's been rated unanimously well qualified by the ABA. Brandon Long, Mr. Long, is uh, he's from New Orleans, actually Metairie. He went to the University of Texas. He graduated cum laude from Duke Law School. He spent five years at King and Spalding. Um, was earning a great living. Decided to get into government service. We, we appreciate that. He's been a federal criminal prosecutor in both D.C. and uh, the Eastern District of Louisiana. He's tried 32 cases to, to verdict. I think Mr. Edwards has tried a bunch of cases to verdict as well. He, uh, he, he uh, was FBI Director Ray's uh, Deputy Chief of Staff for a while, um, and, and he's eminently qualified. I, I've gotten to know both of these gentlemen. Each of them is smart. Each of them is principled. Each of them has thought about the world, and they've formed opinions about the world, but I am convinced that they will, uh, will limit their decisions to the law and to the facts of a specific case. Each understands the role of our Madisonian system of, 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 of checks and balances and separation of powers, and each of them understands the importance and the nuances and the limitations of the law. And I'm really glad we could get this all worked out. And uh, my work here is done. <laughs>